President Biden and Vice President Harris showing a united front meeting with Asian American leaders in Atlanta today. And just before the meeting, they both stopped at the CDC headquarters to express their thanks to workers there one year into the pandemic. Here is 11 Alive's John Chirik with the very latest. They flew to Atlanta for two meetings of international scope and impact. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris here to mourn the eight people shot and killed Tuesday night. Six of the victims, Asian American women. We have to speak out. We have to act. And they were here to praise and thank the pandemic warriors, the president called them, at CDC headquarters. We owe you a gigantic debt of gratitude. And we will for a long, long, long time. We are here to say thank you. Mr. Biden said he carries with him everywhere the daily count of COVID deaths in the U.S., more than half a million now. It's got to stop, but you're slowing it. But it was their private meeting next door at Emory University with Georgia AAPI leaders, hearing firsthand of atrocities against Asian Americans, especially during the pandemic, and most recently the killings in Metro Atlanta that left the president visibly shaken. It was uh, heart-wrenching to listen to them. The president, along with the nation's first Asian American vice president, working to pass a federal hate crimes act. Asian Americans have been attacked and scapegoated. Racism is real in America. Xenophobia is real in America. Sexism, too. A harm against any one of us is a harm against all of us. It's been a year of living in fear for their lives. The conversation we had today with the AAPI leaders is that hate and violence often hide in plain sight. It's often met with silence, but that has to change because our silence is complicity. Mr. Biden, who has himself endured the loss of his first wife and two children, tried to console those grieving for loved ones lost now. My heart goes out to all, all the family members who lost someone in those horrific shootings on Tuesday. Our prayers are with you. The day will come when their memory brings a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eye. And when it does, that's the day you know you're going to make it.